Hey guys, hope you're having a great day as well as a great life. Well, it was a great life. We don't have the uh, overhead lights on because you know what? I wanted to set the a little bit of a mood for Emerson Lincoln Palmer. I fucks with it heavy. True. We will also be in Nashville in T minus seven hours. See you guys there. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, because when this comes out. Yeah. That's I mean, don't so break the illusion of time, but yeah, for them it'll be seven hours. Recording the same day. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while since we hit Emerson Lincoln Palmer. Yeah. I forget the last one we hit. It might have been Lucky Man or. I it's forget, been too. I it would be a exactly. guess at this point. But all I know is it's been past due time to come back and hit them again. We've been getting requests, honestly, a ton. And I, I don't know why we don't. I think it's just I th there's some big songs we hit by them. And I don't think we knew exactly where to go next. But this came up a bunch. So this song seems exciting. Yeah. Because the title is like, still, dot, 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 you turn me on. Dude, sounds like, honestly, it sounds like, a, my, my guess was going to yeah. be about. And it sounds like uh, a married couple who's been married for like seven years. Yeah. And one of them. Like, they're going through some rocky stuff. Maybe there's yeah. outside job shit that's affecting it. Yeah. Maybe one of them is insecure. Just the stresses of life coming up. And she's like, I just don't even think you love me anymore. And you're like, well, for one, I definitely do. And two, you still turn me on. Wow. And okay, cool. Beat drops. Yeah. I did not think you were going to say that, but yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. That's what happens when mommies and daddies get together is the beat drops. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, let's see. Let's see what he can show us. Let's do it. With a PBL. Any drums in that? Can you go to the still, just like click on the still you turn me on part. I just want to hear it one more time. Okay. That first one. I don't think so. I think it's just tambourine. Yeah, yeah. Dang, that's really cool. Interesting tune. Really interesting tune. Yeah, I feel like I feel like uh, the thought you had of what it's about. I think it was pretty much exactly it. I think so too. Just the husband uses fancy words and phrases to like confuse the situation. It's like, like the opposite of mansplaining. Yeah, it's like just like creates cloudiness and gray yeah. of of, under, <laughs> of understanding. It's like, but none of that actually matters. True. Because true. You still turn me on. He's like, do you, like that's honestly the best way to get out of an argument. You're right. It's more like Blue Jays. 
sometimes they fly in the night, but sometimes during the daytime, the moon, because it's not there, the clouds can't be in front of it, right? That's what's happening here. She's like, what? <laughs> you're like, you're hot as shit. She's like, all right, cool. <laughs> we're good. I guess we're good. Uh, this is also the most appropriate ellipses I've ever seen in a song title. Actually, yeah. Because it's still, you turn me on. Like, actually the pause. Really, really good. I I don't, that's a, a detail I, I love. That's such a dope line in a song title. Like, yes. In, in general. Yeah, it's just cool. It definitely had my interest from the onset. And I love that they, again, delivered on it hardcore. I love the vocal delivery and like how it's in like, it's in the left, right, and I think it's in the center. And it's sung super close to the mic, like much closer than the other vocals, which is why it's like, you turn me on. Like so close as opposed to like back here. It's it's really, really tasteful. I love that a lot. I'm trying to think of what his approach was, like lyrically, like with the, or like uh, in terms of that like, concept. Because like, like it's all this stuff like, do you want to be this? Do you want to be that? Do you want to be this? And then kind of getting to a place uh, where it's like, I mean, like, it doesn't really, mm. it doesn't really matter actually. And then kind of just moving on. It's like, is he saying like, basically, like, you're attached to these like things, these places you want to be, these things you want to do, like all this stuff, and you're like, caught up in that, and it's like cloud ends up clouding or distracting us from everything, and then it's like, and then returning to the intimacy. Like, I'm I can to think see of, that. I'm trying to think of what I also what think he it, was going. For. It could be maybe in a different perspective of like I really love the line where he's like you could be the player or you could be the strings yeah where he's like maybe the role switch in some way or how affection is given is different like mm -hmm. there's some interplay like I could fill this role or you could fill this role one or the other it doesn't matter as long as the song is getting mm -hmm. played you can be the player or the strings but we need us both to do the task and um and there's the ambiguity in that like that it's not been decided that's why he's at yeah and also yeah. then he goes to it doesn't matter even for maybe himself mm -hmm. he's like I don't care you turn me on regardless. Like, mm. I'm into you. If you're the player or the strings, I'll be whatever. Like, so there's a level of, like, lack of mutual understanding in certain dynamics of the relationship that, like, aren't fully, yeah. like, figured out yet. And he's kind of, like, just prompting all that shit. And he's like, actually, we don't even really need to talk about that right now. We can, yeah. We can skip that for now. Yeah, it, like, it might matter for, like, it might be, like, it matters for you, but it also might not matter for him. I don't know. Uh, either way, very complex. I'm sure there's a lot of, on a first listen, it's hard to get all of that. But I love, I love the conclusion because the conc I, I will say yeah, there's a lot of ambiguity in the verse, which is dope, like the op like purposeful obfuscation kind of. Yeah. But then it's so clear at the end. And it's yeah, it's like the opposite of a wimpy response to that. Complex yes. Situation. Yes. Wow. Yeah. There's for so sure. So many guys or girls like people in the face of that kind of like stuff could just like almost like shut down or like I, I don't know like really meet like, ambiguity with lack of conclusion. Yeah. And yeah. this is like men, for sure conclusion. Like, yeah, like men specifically and can kind of like get like sad boy hours. Mm -hmm. Whereas he's like, no sad boy hours. Let's he's like, like let's guitar. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's elevate let's elevate the vibes. <laughs> here. Turn me on, dude. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah. Sweet. Interesting. Okay. Fucking cool. Okay. I again I will say once more, the lack of drums, the fact that I did I had to replay it, I think is awesome. Like the fact that I there was so much rhythm coming from the like wah affected guitar yeah and the groove and mm -hmm. just the tambourines like light percussion that i thought they were drums like it felt like a groove yeah, you're going back it's like at least a kick right no and nothing it's like, it's like nothing yeah which makes me want there to be like i want somebody on drums to get on this and like go into it that'd be cool for sure interesting uh, all right rating. where are we rating this bad boy <sighs> okay three two one b plus oh yeah on point which I feel like is maybe a low rating. It might seem low to you. I don't think it is. Hence why we both said it at the same time, yeah, unanimously. I think, I think it's super fair. It's a great song. I yeah, really enjoy I like this. It. I like it a lot. I like it more than most B pluses we hit. Yeah. Uh, because it's just unique. We're just trying to get our scale back in check. We are trying up to do in that. This, up in this shack of freedom. Trying to hold ourselves to a higher standard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, great freaking song. Let us know yeah, where to go really next good. in general. I know this is, I mean, a shorter one from them. Um, it can be hard for us to tell which... Emerson like and Palmer songs to hit sometimes because yeah. there's just a lot. They have like the huge proggy side and stuff like this. So it's like definitely let us know where we should tour them next. Also, a lot of people will just comment, you need to hit Emerson like and Palmer. And I'm like, that doesn't help us at all. Yeah. So uh, be specific. If you see a comment that you like, like that comment so we know. And yeah. we love you. See ya. Peace. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to get a good time watching that video, if you want to upvote the video, subscribe if you're not already. Check out some other videos here on the YouTube or on the Patreon if you want extra juicy stuff you can't get on YouTube because people walk in here.